In this video, we're gonna be using Tim Soap's Greek Peach and the Omni Shaver for a dome shave. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back to another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And for the dome shave today, we're gonna to be using an old school classic. This is now unobtainium. This is Tim Soap Greek Peach from about uh, seven years ago. Uh, this one can no longer be found unless you find, on a, find it on a BST or something like that. You'd have to work pretty hard to find this one. Beautiful, 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 to me, sort of natural smelling peach scent. This was gifted to me years ago by Zach Plavridis, one of the original members of the Razor and Brush Facebook group, which you see right there. And I'll link that group below. It's a great, great group. I haven't been in there a lot, but honestly, I'm not active in a ton of Facebook groups. Uh, anymore anyway because I'm busy producing content but anyway terrific group terrific people and a terrific old school so the razor for today is the Omni Shaver uh, this one might be the pro edition I can't remember premium edition and it has those two blades and you go back and forth and honestly I don't know how I feel about this razor I've used it about five times and I'm still a little tentative with it because it just feels so different than everything I use. I'm gonna start by using a little uh, PAA cube, just pre-shave, just trying to sort of whittle this one down. It's not necessary because the Greek peach is a still a great soap, despite being made at least five years ago, if not longer. Um, Zach from, from, excuse me, Razor and Brush, had this made and sent it to, I don't know how many people, it was a ton, of, probably 50 or more, maybe 100 people, it was all at his expense. He is a truly uh, generous guy and one of the sort of unsung heroes, I think, of uh, traditional shaving. For many years, he's not out there in the front, but he's done a lot for a lot of people, including me, and I will forever be grateful, and I owe him uh, a lot um, in many, many ways. All right, let me rinse my hand off here, and then we'll get to lathering the Greek peach. Which again, um, is no longer made. Sadly, Tim Soap was a good soap. Uh, I don't think he's made soap for four or five years now. Um, but I think it'll still hold up. I think it's still rather nice soap. Still has that <laughs> great peach scent. This was, I think, the first peach scent that I ever... Uh, the first really good peach scent that I ever tried was this one. And again, it was a a very what is to me a very precious gift that I really appreciate. And if you see one of these, it's because someone has uh, moved it along because again, it hasn't been made. It was a special edition soap just for the razor and brush group. Um, I don't know, six, seven years ago. But as you can see there, it still lathers well. The soaps from, you know, six, seven years ago are still good today. They were good then, they're good now. I mean, if it was good then, if it was considered to be good then, most likely, it, most likely it's good now. And I know the Omni Shaver Pro is not really meant to be used with a traditional lather like this, but I like to use it that way. They suggest you use one of their one of their products, of course. But I use it with this, and and again, it's it's been difficult for me to get used to this razor because it's just it feels so different. And the concept is that you put it on your head and you start moving it back and forth. And you apply pressure, which is sort of counterintuitive, but it does work. I think it's very tricky around the, the ears. That's where I tend to have my, if I do have trouble with it, it's around the ears. But essentially you keep moving it back and forth. And it's supposed to be sort of stropping the blade on the back stroke. And then when you're moving it forward, with one of the blades, it's also stropping the other blade. So it's sort of a, a unique sort of gizmo, I guess you would call it, um, but it does work. But one thing you wanna be careful about is not to get this razor moving in a horizontal direction when it's, or when it's oriented that way, because if you do, it's gonna be bad. Um, just be mindful of the fact that you've got like 10 blades there. So if you get going horizontally with that, it will not be good when it's, ori when it's oriented that way, sorry. 
tongue twisted there. Just be mindful of what you're doing with this razor. But I will say, if you were in a hurry, you could just zip along like this. But I like to take my time a little bit. This is traditional shaving. We're not in a big rush or hurry, but it does cut effectively. I'll give it that. It just feels strange, <laughs> you know, to me, but in terms of its, uh, in terms of the shave that it delivers, it actually does quite well. So I would say in terms of functionality, um, it does what it's supposed to do. It does exactly what it's supposed to do in terms of cutting well. Uh, in terms of the sort of uh, the style of the shaver, it's just weird because I'm used to, of course, using the leaf or a card or even a DE razor. And so it, it's, especially with my left hand, it's hard for me to develop trust in it because, you know, I'm not as good with my left hand because I'm right-handed. But honestly, it does shave well. So in terms of its function, again, I would say it does what it's supposed to do. It's just... I think it's a little awkward to use, but any razor that you hold this way is a little bit awkward compared to the other razors that we use all the time. Now this razor is meant to be, the way the instructions read, you don't even rinse it. You just keep moving it back and forward. And I will say it does a good job. Um, and you can kind of do it in one pass, you know. So I'm just gonna continue to clean up here and do some clean up uh, strokes. But if you do it the way they say, which is to apply their product, just go back and forth and just sort of cover the entire head, you can get a, a very good shave fairly easily doing it. So it does work. Uh, but it, would it be one that I use regularly? No, no, not unless I was in a hurry. And again, for us who are hobbyists of you know, traditional shaving hobbyists, it's not about being in a hurry. It's about taking your time and luxur luxuriating, excuse me. Um, for me, it's just difficult. These Around these ears, it's just where I struggle a little bit because of the sort of form factor. So function, I think it works very well. The form factor is kind of wonky uh, for me. But again... The razor is doing what it's supposed to do. But I fall into the habit of not buffing. You're supposed to be constantly buffing back and forth, back and forth with this razor. And honestly, um, if you did that one pass um, buffing, you would probably have a DFS shave, with this, which is darn fine shave. Of course, for me, I want to get baby butt smooth, so I'm just feeling around for any parts I might have missed. And again, for me, it's a little awkward around the ears, but honestly, you can get a very decent shave with this razor. Uh, that's pretty good. That is definitely DFS. I have a couple of areas around the ears here and one spot right there that I need to work on a little bit. But other than that, it's quite decent. And honestly, I don't have to relather again. The Tim soap still has good residual slipness. So it's done a great job. So let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the booth. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back with the magic made by witches. This is Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber, which I'm spraying on the dome and may, and may as well hit the face as well. The Omni Shaver, uh, I don't know how I feel about it. Um, it will definitely get it done if you were in a hurry and wanted to do a quick head shave. I think this could certainly provide that. I've used this maybe, I don't know, I said five times. Six, seven, maybe more. I have it logged in a book how many uses I have on. It's still shaving well. I, let's just call it six uses. Uh, I'm still not completely comfortable with it. If you're in a hurry, this would probably hit the spot. Would be would this be something that I would use regularly? No, it's just, it, it feels too weird to me, although it does cut effectively. But I'm gonna tell you, when you see all those blades, if you happen to get it horizontal, why it's oriented this way, it's gonna be a mess of cut. So, be careful with it, um, but I guess you could say that with any razor that's multi-blade. If you get a cut, it's going to be, you know, a lot. But this one has 10, so just keep that in mind. The Greek peach still holds up. Amazing, uh, beautiful, <sighs> still has its scent. Beautiful peach scent. Thank you, uh, Zach Plavridis from Razor and Brush, 
for providing this years ago. And thank you for the friendship and all you've done for me. I really appreciate it. Uh, this remains a, a great soap and it's one that will never leave my den as long as I'm around. Um, we use the West Coast Shaving Synthetic Brush, which I love. And we shall close it out today with a little bit of uh, Ariana and Evans uh, Cognac and Peach or Peach and Cognac. I can't remember. Yeah, Peach and Cognac. And this is a beautiful peach scent. And we're going to be off to the races and having a wonderful day. We did get a really nice close head shave, so that's great. And this peach scent here just smells amazing, just like the Greek peach, Greek peach smells amazing. They're not the same scent, but they're both awesome. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you all have a terrific day. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.